Okay, hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be cooking mussels. So we went out to Samawang Park today and hoping to catch some crab. However, you know there were no crabs, too many gill nets around unfortunately and people were greedy and they were like hauling up all the crabs they can get and please guys, you know like if you go out there, if you need to bring back some crabs, please do bring back what you can eat, not bring back the whole entire ocean's crab. Because, you know, please bear in mind there are others like us who wants to find crabs also. But not too bad because at least we can still have some mussels. And this is what we will be cooking today. I think this is a pretty good haul. So, me and my younger brother, we went out trying to catch some crab. He found an old rusty old boat and it was full of these mussels. So, we only brought back what we can actually eat in probably, you know, like in one sitting or maybe it's good for tomorrow's dinner. Okay, so let me just begin to introduce you to some of the ingredients that I'll be using today. So we have lemongrass, we have onions, we have garlic, and we have ginger. Pretty simple and simple is good. Especially when you have fresh seafood, you want to taste that kind of freshness, you don't eat your food. So let me just begin with heating up some oil. Let me just turn on the induction cooker, I'm pretty new to this. Okay, so let's put it to the frying mode. Turn down the heat a little and let's add in the cooking oil. Okay, let's wait for it to dry out a little bit more. Okay, so when we add in the oil, not too much, just enough for you to saute some of the ingredients that we have here. We'll just throw out the oil a bit. Okay, so the first thing that I'll add, I normally add the onions first. A lot of people will probably begin with the garlic, but for me, the way to go will be to use the onion. Okay, so onion goes in, followed by the garlic, and then the ginger. You don't add in the lemongrass, because the lemongrass is fragrant, and if you were to fry it now, what happens is that you'll probably lose out on all that fragrance goodness. Okay, I'll need to get the needle because we're cooking using a pot, so I'll be using a really long ladle. Okay, so because I'm using an induction cooker, so it gets really hot really quick. So I'm just need to give it a good quick stir. Well, it's almost done, it's almost brown now. So we'll just wait for maybe a minute. But while waiting, we'll just keep on stirring. So we don't burn through any of our base ingredients. 
Okay, so actually I forgot to tell you what the dish will be for tonight. So, you know, it's not really like boiled mussels because if you boil mussels, you'll probably lose out on a lot of the flavor. So, what do we call this? Whatever that you want to call it. You let me add in just some water. Not too much. We're not trying to boil the mussels, just a little bit. We turn the heat up. And we'll add a bit of salt. Okay, so the thing is you don't want to add too much salt because you know like mussels where they came from and it's really fresh. So they're going to add a bit of salt into your dish already fresh from the ocean. So this is just to add up a little bit more salt to just bring up the flavor just a little bit more. Okay, so bring the heat all the way up. And now we're going to add in the mussels. Just a bit at a time. For this mussel, we actually spent some time to clean them up because you know when we got them, they're really full of like how do I call it? Muck? Not really muck. It's like it has beards growing all over them. So we'll add in the mussels. final touch up we'll be adding in the lemongrass okay so if you actually have a closer look into the pot what you will really see is that you know it's not like it's really full of water but just enough water to let it simmer okay so as you can see here I have a pressure cooker but this is not really that necessary. You can actually use any pot and it will be just fine. Well, the reason why I'm using a pressure cooker is because this is the only pot that I have, I guess. Okay, so we'll just put it on a roll. If you're gonna use a pressure cooker just like mine, it's probably gonna take about 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, you're done. And you're good to go. You have a very good dinner. And thank you for watching this channel so I'll just come back to this video once the cooking is done okay so 10 minutes is almost up and when I see my pressure cooker cooking like this I believe you know that there's probably gonna be enough heat in this pot to actually cook the whole pot of mussels so what I will do now is I will just turn off the power because I'm using induction cooker. If you're using a uh, gas stove, you may turn off the heat now. So for me, I just have to wait for the pressure to go down. Just a tad, just a bit more to go down. It means that now it's safe to open up the pot, and there we have it. So just check it. This is out. All the muscles have opened up. It means that they're cooked. all those steam okay so we'll just give it a bit of stirring just to bring up all the broth to the muscle so we can taste the broth and just try these out nice and plump not overcooked because okay one thing to take note is that if you do over have to overcook your muscles, you know, like unfortunately, you'll probably waste some good muscles because what happens is their flesh will become mushy. Okay, so it's actually pretty normal that you know when you cook muscles, it's gonna fall off its shell, and when it does, you know, like you know, like it's pretty much ready. So there we have it. Salted muscles in some broth and some onion and whatever that we added to the pot.
Okay, so we can take this out and have it served. So for those of you who want it a little spicy, you can actually prepare soya sauce dipping with some chili. It will go great with this kind of recipe. Okay, thank you for watching and please, if you do enjoy my videos, share it around and subscribe. So now it's time for taste test. I am confident this will be so nice. Let me get a fork. Okay, so let's just take out some. Very nice. Awesomeness. You know what, even my cat goes crazy over the smell of the mussels. I think he probably wants some. Okay, that's all for the taste test. Thanks for watching.